All right guys, welcome to Quick Tips. Today we're gonna be working on something very cool. So let's go and create a new project and I'll just set it at 30 frames. I'm gonna just call this QT4. And uh, you can already see I've got all my clips in here, but what I'm gonna start with is the music. Uh, and if I play that back, I'm gonna play it over my speakers. All right, so if we zoom in here, you're gonna notice that they've got those peaks which rise on each one of the beats. Um, I'll also have the link to this track in the description. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just cut off this first part here because I basically wanted to start on that beat. So when it gets to all these points, what I'm gonna do is hit M on the clip to create a marker and that's gonna let me know later on when I need to make my cuts. So we're gonna, we've got one over there, two over there, then there's another one over here. Uh, further along here. All right, so we've got five markers there for each point at which the transitions need to occur. And now I'm gonna bring in my clips over here. So we've got eight, I'm gonna bring that on top. And we're not gonna make the transition straight away, as in we're not gonna cut it at that point. What I want is for it to run all the way along. And uh, keep in mind footage that is moving, like you can see in the clip above, uh, works best with this kind of technique we're gonna be doing. So we've got a clip there. I'm just gonna put a clip three in as the second one. So again, what I wanted to do is sort of roll over the uh, transition points. And the reason for that is obviously to give uh, the clip time to make the transition with the next clip. And also I'll be moving the clip around at a later stage uh, once we start making the transitions. But for now, let's just bring in the clips. All right, so now I've got all my footage staggered neatly. What I'm gonna to need to do now is to create the title. So we've created a small plugin deliberately for this tutorial and you can download that for free at the link in the description. Just follow the link and download at the sample pack image that you can see on screen there. Once you download that, uh, it'll come with installation instructions, which will be quite simple. And then you can go into your titles, find FCP titles 450 sample pack and then bring in the text mover. All right, so showing you what it is, I'm gonna just turn off clip three for now, we won't need it there, is it gives you the option of, it gives you the option of choosing the direction of the text where it comes in. So you can see, if you got this drop down menu here, you can choose if you want it to go left, right, down, up, and scale down. So we're gonna choose this based off of the, uh, the movement of the clip. So right now you can see that the clip is moving from right to left there. So we're gonna have our text moving in the left direction as well. I'm gonna use a bolder font so that we can actually see it on the back and I'm also gonna just uh, increase the size of the text. Now we're not gonna worry about the text uh, just yet. We're gonna put that in in the next section but I wanna just do that again with the next clip. So a clip. Th so here's the marker point. Let's go back in and find text mover. We'll bring that in over here. You can bring it in a frame or two before again because we will be changing this at a later stage. And for this clip, you can see it's slightly moving up. So I'm going to change the direction to up over here and you'll see that the text will change and you'll have to change the corresponding text over there. So also I will wanna change the font to bold and I will also change up the color so that we go between a white and also a, a completely different color. And for this, we're gonna use this color here. So I'm gonna copy that hex color. Uh, and now I'm gonna just populate the rest of these sections with titles just to speed it up for you. Okay, so now I've got all the text mover titles in my timeline above each set of footage and you can see that I've changed them to the one that's specific to the section, so scale down, right, uh, before that's down, and so on. So now what we can do is to select our uh, text and the clips and create a new compound clip. I'll just call that one. Uh, and then what I'm gonna do is just to get it to this marker point and drag it there, so just like that. So I'm just gonna do the same with all of these. So I'm just cutting the clips so that they fit in between the gaps of the markers. Okay, so now we're going to change the text. So what I'll need to do is to go into each compound clip, uh, then go into the text move and identify which one it is. So in this case, left. Uh, and okay, so what I'm gonna change the text to is create. And I'm just gonna do the same for the rest. All right, so let's watch that together and review. 
All right, so it's not looking too bad, but we can improve on it. So the first thing that we're gonna do is to have a little bit more impact on the beginning over here. So you can see as the sound come in, it doesn't act as strongly as with the words. So let's go into one. Uh, and then what I wanna do is go to the beginning and I wanna scale that up. So I'm gonna use the, uh, the size over here. So I'm gonna make a keyframe at the largest point until it does that. So let's go like that and then two frames ahead and I'm gonna change that back down to 190. And the next thing I'm gonna do is to just select it and I'm gonna put that in a new compound clip and I'm gonna call that text one. And what I wanna do now is to increase the speed. So let's see if I can find it here. Modify, retime. So yeah, so go modify, retime, go into fast and I'm gonna put make that, uh, and I'm gonna make that twice the speed. So let's go back and play that back. And right away that's creating a much better impact at the start. Then what I also wanna do is just make sure that the, the more starts in a little bit later so I can just slide it a few frames and then we can see where that begins now. So, so I need just subtly at the end there which is what I'm kind of going for. That looks pretty cool. And then you could also, like I said, come down a bit lower. So we'll just move that across quite a few frames. Let's, let's see how that works. That's quite nice. Can looks cool, and then imagine, of course, is the last one. But I just want to shift my footage across because you'll see it breaks into a sort of slowdown period over here. So I'm just going to go into six. And so what I'm going to do is just to pull my clip shorter. So click and drag, something like a second or so, and then I'm also going to obviously pull this back so that it starts around about the time at which the clip starts. So maybe one more three more frames. Let's see how that looks. Okay, we need a bit more time on the scale over here. So let's try two more frames. Try that with the audio off. All right, that's way better. That's actually pretty nice. Okay, so at this stage, you might be happy with it and we might have a final product. But if you do want to look at making it just a slight bit more interesting. I like this effect in transitions, or rather this transition in transitions. Go into movement and then find drop in. So I'm gonna just put it on number two for now to show you how it works. Um, first, what I'm gonna do is to just turn off the smoke and then click and drag it all the way. So you can see right there, the transition's three frames long. So I'm just gonna do that for all of them here. I'll click and drag that to three frames. Just remember to turn off the smoke. Uh, and then I'm gonna do that for four. Click and drag, click and drag, turn off the smoke, turn off the smoke, and then I think number six would be the last one, so just do the same there. Turn off the smoke. Okay, so right now it's just going to all do the same thing. As you can see, it just flicks through the footage quite nicely. So if I go slowly on it, there there's just two frames that it just uh, makes a quick transition down. It's, it's going to do the same for most of them because you need to give them a different sort of frame length. So there's variation. So what I'm going to do is say this one's going to be three frames. This one's going to be six frames. Uh, make it six. This one can be four. And this is all just random numbers now that I'm coming up with. This one's five. This one is seven. And that's the lot. All right, let's take a look. So the last two could be cut a little bit shorter. It's the transition takes slightly bit long. Again, this is obviously depending on what you want to do, but I just want the cuts to be cut a little bit shorter than that. So four frames and six frames. So pretty quick stuff, guys. If you have any questions about the technique, shoot those down in the comments below and I'll do my best to get back as soon as possible. And if you're looking for fast typography templates for Final Cut Pro, check out our portfolio. That'll also be linked in the description. Don't forget to subscribe for more tips like this and we'll see you in the next one.